Hi everyone, this is Plasma125 here. Welcome back to another video. Due to how popular my previous video on a 5000 Rand and under budget gaming PC, in today's video I will be talking about how to build a 10,000 Rand and under budget gaming PC in South Africa. For those who don't know, I stay in South Africa, born and raised here, so I can understand how money is an issue in the country. Everyone is tight on money now, especially due to the COVID-19 pandemic, lockdown regulations, unemployment, etc. Children are at home doing online school with Zoom, Microsoft Teams, or you're at home doing work or watching Netflix or something like that. So you have a budget of 10,000 Rand and want to build a budget gaming PC that will enable you to do your war work and play games as well. On a budget, of course. So Send a disclaimer, in this guide I am assuming you already have a monitor, keyboard, mouse and possibly a headset as well. This is a 10,000 Rand board and it only includes like the PC and desktop so no peripherals and such. So starting with this guide, you have 10,000 Rand in your hand and want to pull or want to figure out like where you can buy the best bang or for buck computer. So there are many places in the country, from online retailers such as Rootware, Evtech, Ticklot.com, or your online or local places such as Computer Mania and the more expensive place in Clever Connection. We will be using Rootware, Evtech, and possibly Ticklot as well, depending where you want to go. So starting off for 1,999 or 2,000 rand. We have the ASDRAC B450 Steel Legend AM4 ATX motherboard from Rootware. In summary, it is a excellent gaming motherboard at this price range. It has four DIMM slots with a max RAM support of 64GB, a large cheap chip chipset and choke um, heatsink, which is awesome. So your temperature is all fine. And it has a wide array of I.O., a M.2 SSD heatsink, which is awesome. And it has two CPU fan headers and three case fan headers, which are all 4-pin. The motherboard also is also overclock capable and has, uh, finally, RGB lighting. So, next for the CPU, we will be choosing the AMD Ryzen 5 3400G, which costs 2,979 Rand. At take uh, so not to take a lot of at footwear. It is a four core A thread APU. It has built in graphics, which is the Radeon RX Vega 11 graphics. With the and the CPU has a base clock of 3.7 gigahertz and a max boost clock of 4.2 gigahertz. It comes with the Raid Spire cooler and it is unlocked so you can OC the. APU with the B450 motherboard. Since it's an APU with integrated graphics which is game capable, you don't have to buy a dedicated GPU right now. So you can save up like your cash for that in the future. Like my one friend has the older Ryzen 5 2400G and only got a GPU which is the RX 580 in like a year or two later. So the benchmarks for the 3400G, according to TechSpot, for Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Siege at 1080p low settings, you get a 1% low of 70, 77 FPS. Average frame is 92 FPS. Fortnite at 1080p low settings, you would get about a 1% low of 67 frames per second. Average of 81 frames per second. Board of Tanks at lower settings at 1080p gets you about 1% low of 113 FPS and 198 FPS on average. CSGO at 1080p high settings will get you at least 100 FPS and Minecraft will get at least 100 FPS as well. So for our RAM, we will be choosing the 16GB dual channel kit from EVETEC for 1200 RAM. We get the Clev Crass X RGB 16 gigabyte to 8 gigabyte RAM, like 3200 megahertz DDR4 gaming OC RAM kit. It has a aluminium heatsink, 
as also the XMP 2.0 one step overclocking feature as well it is a 1.35 volt reduced RAM as well it has also RGB lighting and like it supports your your manufacturer's um, RGB lighting software as well which is awesome so 3200 megahertz is awesome for Ryzen and I'm sure one can OC the RAM as well with the right profile and all the faster the RAM the better it is for Ryzen since the kit is also dual channel it is awesome for Ryzen and makes it perform much better I chose this RAM kit as you can reuse it when you upgrade to a newer gen of Ryzen CPUs or upgrade to a better performing Ryzen CPU and it will be still fast and it will benefit that CPU so if you like this video so far, please click on that subscribe button, leave a like and comment as well, much appreciated, thanks. So continuing, with the essentials now sorted, we now look at storage. We are going full SSDs today, which is awesome, super fast speeds. So we will be getting from EVETEC for 1799 Rand, a Hikvision E1000 1TB one M.2 PCI Gen 3 MVV 3D NAND internal solid state drive, which has a maximum write, write speed of 1800 megabytes per second, a maximum read speed of 2100 megabytes per second. One terabyte of SSD storage is more than enough for you as a gamer, gamer and a, as a person who wants to work on the PC. You can um, add an additional one terabyte or two terabyte hard drive in the future. If you like one, but like one terabyte is more than enough for now. So up next, we have to choose our power supply. A golden rule in PC building is like you never cheap out on the on the power supply. It may ruin your life in the future. So with that said, I chose in this board guide the Gamdius Kratos M1 600B RGB 600 watt power supply. You get this from EveTech. It is bronze. E plus brand certified, so which is awesome, and it costs 1,000 rand or 999 rand. It has RGB lights as well, which also syncs to your motherboard so software, so which is awesome. So you get that 10% in extra performance. Mm. So 600 watts is more than enough for this board. Like in fact, I used like PC Part Picker, which is a great site to build this exact PC, and I paired it with like a. RTX 2090 and like the total board was like was like under 600 watts and like it's so 600 watts is like way it's like more than enough for like your budget GPU such as like the RX 570 or 580 or even like the GTX 1650 and 1660 supers so yeah awesome and like it future proofs for the future as well 16 watts now. 1600, sorry, I just said 16 watts, so it's like 1600. No, what? No, 600 watts, sorry. <laughs> so, finally, with the last component in this board, it is your PC case. In this video, I'll be choosing the Cougar MX410 Mesh G RGB Mid Tower Gaming Case. It has tempered glass side panel on the left hand side, it has a front, a front mesh panel, which is awesome, so great airflow coming in. And has a great range of I/O, uh, like which is like four USB, so it's awesome. The case includes four 120 mo um, millimeter ARGB fans, which are all pre-installed, so it's awesome. Three are which in the front, and one is at the back. It ha it has a internal fan hub as well to connect all these fans and the two ARGB strips to the motherboard, and the power supply to power them as well. It, it supports GPUs at a max length of 270 to 300 millimeters, depending on, on the configurations of your fans and CPU cooler. So, like that's like uh, most of your two fan GPUs out there. Three fans are too big. The case costs exactly one um, 999 rand, and it is a great deal. So you must get this case before its stocks runs out, as it's a Black Friday deal. Same goes with the other deals as well, like the ones that say level up. So just to repeat that the case costs exactly 999 Rand on EVETEC. 
so coming to the end of this video, the boat costs exactly 9,974 Rand, give or take, depending where you get your pots from. So I hope you liked this video. Don't forget to click on that subscribe button for more videos like this. Leave a like and comment. Thanks for watching, stay safe out there and have a great day. Cheerio!